I sort of envisioned this being more of a how-to video. It's not. But because guaranteed there's like one person watching this right now that's like, my radiator looks like that. And everyone yeah. else is like, why that did I sit all the way through this? not my life. Why would no. I? Hello. I'm Kira. I'm Molly. You just broke my soda. What? Did you just brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. That was really good. Right? They look really white. Are you sure? Yeah, they look really white. I'm Kira. And I'm Molly. And today we're here to talk about... Wood! How to protect your plants from your radiator. Using wood. We live in a second story walk up, hence the jungle upstairs. And the apartment is amazing. It's an old apartment building, super old, and it's cool and it has really interesting architecture and structure and weird Great molding structure. that I think is really cool and vintage. All in all, love it. The worst part about this apartment is the radiators. The radiators are those old radiators where we can't control when they turn on or off at all. So no they come on like mid October and they will be on like for part of the day, some days the whole day, there's no rhyme or reason. It gets so hot. It's a thousand degrees in here. I would leave for work and come home and I would be like, <gasps> and so hot. Global warming, you know, it's not mm. even cold out there. Oh yes. So it's hot out there. Yes. And it's hot in here, but just yes. because it's supposed to be winter, Hot, hot, heat, hot, hate to be hot. She hates to be hot. So back to the, why was I talking? Oh, the radiators turn on and the radiators are where a lot of my plants are sitting because they literally are like part of the windowsill in three rooms. The only three rooms with, rooms with windows. Correct. So I have lost a lot of plants over the years to these radiators. Very sometimes sad. because I'm surprised with how early they turn on in the year and I haven't moved my plants off them and I come home from work, they're cooked to a crisp, they're black, they're burned, they're sad, they go in the trash. So this year I'm trying to get ahead of it and I also have more plants than ever before. Yeah. Thank you, quarantine. You do. I do have more <laughs> plants than ever before. So I was like, what can I do to still leverage this space on top of the radiator we but need, we need the space. We need the space. Where else are these plants going to go? Yeah. So I brought Molly with me to Home Depot. Let's talk about Home Depot really quick. I really like Home Depot. I want to work at Home Depot. So we go to Home Depot. And if you watched our last video, which if you haven't, check it out here. We went apple picking, ended up at a nursery in the suburbs. And we bought a beautiful, beautiful. Christmas tree. Named Gloria. No quotes. <laughs> Not Christmas tree. It's a Christmas tree. A beautiful tree named Gloria. A beautiful Christmas tree. Picture this. Ooh, we're at Home Depot. Ooh. We walk up. We get through the doors. We go down to find the lumber section. Lumber. And we turn the corner. And what do we see? Are you crying? <laughs> Oh my god, look at you, sweetie. Oh my god, I love it so much. You getting some stuff for Gloria? Yeah. The Christmas tree is around. Molly started to cry. I was overwhelmed with emotion. I, I was just expecting a, a trip for wood. I didn't know the wood would be in the form of a tree. So then we get to the wood section. Oh, sorry, did you want to soak it in for a second? Then we get it to the wood section and we learned they don't cut wood for you anymore. Went on, babe. Oh. <laughs> They're not gonna cut it for us. That means we have to use our saw. I was ready to move on and say, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh well. We're not, not quitters her. in this family. She kept inquiring, really just to me. And I was like, I don't work here. We just don't need the shelf right now. Yes, we do. The radiator is gonna turn on any day and then our plants are all gonna die. Okay. 
We're just gonna get some wood. Oh my gosh. Yep, we're doing it. I, I don't think this is it. a good idea. We're gonna do it. Next thing I knew, I was carrying them up the escalator. So we bought big clumps of wood. So I cut the wood myself. I decorated Gloria during this so I could be like in a place of zen. And it really made the cutting time go fast. Because the radiator is so hot, I was afraid that anything that I put on top would catch on fire. So what I ended up doing was using this smaller piece of wood almost as like a little buffer. So on each side, I cut it to fit so that it would go underneath and push the wood up so there's this little pocket Boop. of breathability you see here Technical underneath term. here. Breathability. In the wood business. In the wood business, we like to call it. So what I did is I cut them. I made little, what's the word that I'm looking for? To like prop them up. Booster seats. Propagations. Good word. Not applicable to this, but oh. I made little booster seats for the shelves. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. now we just bought some stain and we're going to stain them. We're going to stain them and hopefully they look really good. So moral of the story here. Is there a moral of the I story? I don't think so. I was very curious. I look at Christmas trees, regain your composure. And then, so it's really just like, this is what we did. This is what we did. You it's a recap won't. video. It's a, this is a weekend recap video. Yeah. Here's what we did this weekend. Yeah. And this is what Gloria turned out. Yeah. She's really beautiful. She's beautiful. She looks really good. She's really beautiful. I think that my project looks better than your project. I wanted to stop halfway through because I realized that wasn't really that nice. That was me. But then couldn't stop. Yours wasn't meant to be pretty. It was more practical. And mine was like a beauty thing. Mine can be pretty and practical. Ta-da! They look pretty good, huh? Let us know in the comments if you think we should paint them or do like maybe a natural stain. I'm curious to hear what you think. And if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell to make sure that you don't miss a single video from us.